Hello everyone, welcome back to the Texas Gulf Coast and the channel. Today we are fishing some fairly new waters. It's been a long time since I've been in this area and we had to launch from somewhere else because a road is closed. So for those of you that know about a launch where a road is closed on the Texas Gulf Coast, then you know exactly where I'm at. <laughs> that is so vague. Anyhow, uh, I'm just keeping the fingers crossed that we don't get poured down on. We've got some gray skies uh, ahead of us and I just, I don't want to get rained on again. That was really nasty. And uh, also I've got my seat with me today. Man, it was a, it was a tough one trying to fish without that chair. I forgot to do, put that in my outro, but we're gonna just enjoy a nice relaxed day out here. I'm not looking for much of anything. Hopefully the fishing is gonna start turning on really soon. Sorry about that sun. Um, and we're gonna start making a show and the big fish will hopefully start coming back into the marsh systems that I have been fishing. It's been a tough one, but uh, just being out here is awesome. So welcome back to the show. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Let's get started. I saw some bait getting airborne. I don't know if anybody was chasing them. I just saw them out of the corner of my eye. I'm in the middle of a channel that leads right to the intercoastal. Working atop water. Finally got out here early enough to be able to do something like this. Man, the water is just really weird today. It's moving in so many different directions. It's crazy. On one hand, you got the wind blowing it in one direction, at least the surface. Now, down below, you've got boats like that just hauling butt. Yep, I'm trying to fish here. I ain't trying to fish here. I'll be a part of that crowd. So-so, eh, I'll, I'll be on my little micro skiff. Anyhow, um, <laughs> I saw some bait going airborne, but uh, it's kind of null and void whenever the wake really jacks up the water. You can fool a bird, you can fool a fish. I, I'm spooking him as I cast. I miss having my hummingbird. Definitely missed having it whenever that storm hit me and I couldn't use my trail to get out of there. All right, there's blow ups taking place all over around me and nothing is shown any interest in my top water. So I'm probably gonna give it about two more good casts and we're gonna swap things up to a paddle tail. Nick has already landed one fish on a paddle tail, so I'll probably go to that or maybe a bugs. We'll try the paddle tail. We'll give that guy another shot at trying to hold his own and earn a spot inside my tackle tray. All right, one more cast and that's it. Oh my gosh. Somebody bring that lure back for a free snow cone. <laughs> Good night. Thank goodness it's a top water, huh? Let's go get that bad boy. What happened? Yeah, I don't know. That guy just had a mind of his own. 
wants to solve. Free Willy, stupid lure. All right, well, I guess he's like, yeah, I quit. <laughs> Throw on your paddle tail. Let's go get that lure. <laughs> All righty. We're going to use the Ego Net. One way or another, we're going to put this guy into some use. Man, I would poop my pants if a fish, just to spite me, comes and bites this darn thing right as I'm about to net it. <laughs> That'd be the ultimate kick in the nuts. There we go, we got him. All right, first fish of the day. He's fighting like a red. Oh no, that's a nice trout. Oh yeah. Look at that, paper thin mouth. Oh baby. Thank you, Mr. Trout. Oh, not a keeper, but still, nonetheless, it's, it's a good looker. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Hey, 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 Bro. Okay. I'm going to need you to just chill out, man. Dang. Put the net back up. Admire this little fella really quick. Look at that. Look at those colors. Ah, gorgeous fish. All righty. Hey, you... <laughs> you got salt water in my eye. I'm never, I'm just throwing y'all back from now on. You just had to ruin it for everybody. Idiot. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh my gosh, this is a donkey. Oh, oh wait, is, is that a donkey or? What is that? No, that is, that is a donkey. I was like, is that a trout or a red? scared there for a second because if it was a trout I was about to say oh my gosh all right oh my gosh yes out here in the oh my god <laughs> and so the curse continues oh my gosh we just lost them Ooh, wowzers all right, we're gonna take a momentary break. I will come back after uh, I thrash myself. Okay, we're back. Uh, through trial and error, I have just realized and figured out that I will no longer use the Ned's lock hooks for my paddle tails. Uh, there's not enough of a, a hook bend on there to actually like properly hook those guys and I've lost way too many fish by doing that. So for the Slabalicious, which is a crappie sized lure, these will get used because it just makes no sense trying to use a big old huge saltwater hook for something like that. So this is the perfect thing. It's very stout and there's not much plastic that's going to keep it from hooking, penetrating a redfish's mouth. Now for a full size paddle tail, which is what I'm using, trying to get it for y'all. For a full-size paddle tail, something like this, it, it's, there's too much plastic and it doesn't leave enough of the hook exposed to just get the job done. So you'll never see me use these style hooks again with a paddle tail, unless it's one of the small crappie style ones. So let's uh, continue just trolling this flat and hopefully we're gonna hook into some more reds. There's a thump. Got you. Oh my God, that's another big one. Oh, wow. They're big, bro. 
Oh gosh, that is a massive one. Like if I can see him that clear over here, he took about maybe 15, 20 yards of drag right there. All right, let's kill the motor. Actually, let's just hit spot lock. That is a, oh yeah, that is a big old donkey. So we swapped out the hook. We should have a little bit better luck landing this guy if we properly hooked him. I mean, we're still using an ultralight rod. Look at that fella, beautiful redfish. Oh, my line is wrapped around him. We gotta hurry up and get him in. There we go. Line just came undone. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. As long as you can learn from your mistakes, you shouldn't have any issues coming out here catching these guys. There's a big difference in the hooks that I'm using right now. And uh, that's all it took. We got a better hook. Oh, sorry, buddy. We got a proper hook set on this guy. He's, uh, he's definitely approaching the upper end of the slot. All right, I'm trying to hurry up and get him back inside that water. There we go. Look at that. Let's get him in the water. <laughs> I caught it though. We were rolling. I'm done with this. I'm done with it. Going back to the boga. So there we go. Right there. Perfect size. The down south redeems itself and uh, is able to catch. Everything looks pretty good. The tail is a little bit thrashed, but it's holding up. Hopefully we'll be able to get one more fish with it before uh, it goes kaput. All right, well, that wasn't the ending or the release that I wanted y'all to see, but I mean, that guy had places to be, so uh, he, took, <laughs> he took off really fast. Um, didn't get to get any photos, but uh, we got one in the boat, and that was a nice one too, probably about 26, 27 inches. I've got an idea. I'm gonna not swap this lure out. We're gonna put this guy away just for a quick minute. I have an idea on how to like really attract these fish. I was thinking like, what do I have that could make some noise and get these guys to just come and investigate and then just chomp on it. And I think that guy is not inside there. Here we go. Look at this right here. Let's get this all undone. Okay, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all need to stay inside there. Look at that. We got two rattles on this lure right here. Black. It's got the same style trailer that we're using right there. It's just a way bigger profile. We got a massive hook, heavy weight. We've got the wind at our face. This will kind of help us to be able to cast a little bit further out there. And it's dark. So the murky water, dark lures, everything's going for us. We're gonna throw some Procure on his tail and uh, see what we can do. Hopefully this rattle is gonna help us out in calling them in. And then with the Procure on it, they can smell it. There we go. There we go, baby. Let's kill the motor. <sighs> right up against the grass. Oh yeah, that is a nice size. All right, come here.
gosh, oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Get out of that grass, buddy. Oh. There we go, we got him out. Whew, that was a close call. There we go, he's coming in. Okay, okay. Get the ego net. He's done. He is done. Get over here. Oh no! Oh my gosh. That was so close. Where you get the hook on the net and then the fish is still outside the net. Ugh. Oh wow. What a stud. Oh my gosh, that is a stud. Let's get this guy. Look at that right there, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> yes. I'm not gonna say he's a beautiful fella, but boy oh boy did he put on the juice. This dude fought like crazy. All right, let's get the hook out. The paddle tail, again, killing it, just blind casting. Okay, hold on, hold on. Man, he, he was not going to get that. He was not going to get off of this. Here we go. Spectacular redfish, for sure. Beautiful, beautiful donkey right there, ladies and gentlemen. Probably 27, going on 28 inches. Just a spectacular catch all together. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, time to get him back in the water. Whoo, wowzers. You gotta love the fight that redfish have. And this chocolate, muddy stuff, they will find those dark colored lures. That fella, he destroyed it in one shot. <laughs> we got we caught one fish. Man, sometimes them reds are such bruisers. They'll, uh, they bring the hurt. That dude, and, and that dude brought it. He was like full send it, man. <laughs> trying to put my stake out pole and a little mud chicken picks up the lure I was like where's my line I was expecting to be able to feel it and now this guy trying thank goodness we uh, reeled it in as soon as we did because you would have probably choked it these guys are pasty man you need a little bit of sun you need to get out of this murky water and just start laying out buddy you get your copper back. There we go. That's another chicken. Oh man, this guy has got a gorgeous, I'm talking absolutely gorgeous blue tail. Look at that. We're gonna take a photo before we send you on your way, buddy. All right. Super gorgeous redfish. That tail gets you all the time, like a paintbrush. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Before I end, I wanna show y'all something. So y'all know how I lost that one redfish when we were out there on the water. I went to the local sporting goods store and I got me some of these right here. Now, the reason why I did that was because, let's zoom in. That right there is what I was using with that particular lure. Now, I purchased these to go with something like that. A really small, tiny, crappie style lure that works with those, these, and that right there. Uh, it, it's perfectly fine 
and a lot of that hook will be exposed. But when you go to a traditional saltwater style paddle tail, the body of that is really thick and so it doesn't leave a lot of that hook exposed. I did not know what I wanted, so during my search I knew that when I saw it, it would be what I needed. And I'm hoping that this is gonna be the fella to do the trick. Uh, that wide gap is definitely gonna ensure maximum hook penetration. And then the length of the shaft of the hook itself is tiny so that it fits that small lure profile. We're talking like maybe three inches and some change. Uh, so I do not want to lose any more fish than I have to. I would have ended up with a limit. I'm not greedy by any means. I'm very grateful to catch the amount of fish that I do catch, but it just hurts so bad whenever you lose fish because you're not using the right tools for the job. And I'm thinking and hoping that it's gonna work. The only thing that I'm worried about, check out the barb on that. It is very thick and I, I just don't want it to ruin the nose of that paddle tail because it's kind of small. I would prefer like one of those wire shank barbs or something like that. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully I will be able to hook up a lot more and be able to show off the fish to y'all uh, as things happen. Oh, you know what? Before I end merchandise, uh, for those of y'all that watch on mobile, uh, the majority of y'all do it in landscape on like that. Uh, if you turn it portrait mode, you will be able to see my merchandise directly underneath the video from Teespring. If you want to support the channel, there's no better way to do it than purchasing one of the shirts that I have uh, created. And uh, yeah, I definitely would appreciate it. I earn a small little profit from each sale. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. For those of y'all not subscribed to the channel and you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. I definitely would appreciate it. For everyone else who found your way to my video because of the Old Town Autopilot 136, that is a very hot item right now. That platform is turning heads and uh, yeah, uh, please consider subscribing because there's going to be a lot more content coming, uh, being filmed from that platform and uh, you don't want to miss it. So that is going to do it again. If you enjoyed the video, please click that thumbs up button. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.